Hey coach, I know this is probably a tough one because your team came out and fought hard. They brought the intensity, almost cut it down to two there in that fourth quarter. Just where did you see the separation there at the end of that fourth? Well, you know, I think the difference uh, in the game tonight was turnovers. Uh, you can't have 19 turnovers uh, in a playoff game and uh, expect to win games, you know. So they, they scored 21 points off of our turnovers. Uh, you know, a lot of those came in transition, 20 points and fast break points. Uh, and that I thought was the difference in the game. We got to do a better job of taking care of the ball, um, you know, not playing in traffic, passing in traffic, dribbling in traffic. Uh, you know, they do a good job of uh, their traps and, uh, you know, having active high hands. Uh, we got to have the proper spacing and uh, we got to get that ball out uh, to the open man and we will have opportunities uh, on the weak side, and uh, we just didn't do a good job of doing that tonight. <clears throat> the playoff intensity that that you need to bring, and it's a level up from from the regular season. Did you like your intensity more as a team tonight? I thought so? I thought we started off with uh, uh, the tempo. Uh, I thought it was a good tempo uh, to start the game, and we could make shots early, uh, but we had really good looks. Uh, I thought our pace was better uh, in this game. And, uh, you know, we did some good things, but you got to take care of the basketball, you know, you got to be solid, uh, you know, especially on the road, uh, uh, taking care of the basketball. You can't give, uh, the opponent easy, easy points. And, uh, we did that tonight, uh, uh, with our turnovers and, uh, you know, that led to those guys getting out in transition. Uh, 20 fast break points. So, I mean, too many easy points uh, uh, in this game that we gave up. A couple of questionable calls too, um, just throughout the game. Do you think any of like that distracted the team to not just turnovers? Well, you know, I think we, we're going to always feel that, uh, you know, uh, some calls go against you. Got You got to, you got to uh, emotions, uh, you have to get back to calm in situations like that. Uh, where you feel that uh, some calls have gone against you and, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing you can do about it, you know, once that call is made, uh, you know, so you have to get, you know, control your emotions and get back to calm uh, so that you can uh, be clear about what you need to do, you know, get to the next possession and it can't be become a distraction. Coach, so many times this season we see Jimmy Butler defer to his teammates and pass the ball, but tonight it was clear that he was taking matters into his own hands. You know, when he puts up 45, what's so difficult about defending him when he plays that aggressively? Well, you know, part of it is, you know, he has shooters around him. And, um, you know, a lot of times those guys, uh, you know, your defense is hugging the perimeter and it's giving him opportunities to uh, play really one-on-one -on -one. and tonight I thought he uh he took advantage of that uh he was really good uh you know playing and creating and and scoring uh with the space uh that he had uh and uh you know if you're if you're helping helping uh you know he will pass the ball and he will give it up uh to the shooters on the perimeter uh tonight you know he did a good job of you know he found a rhythm and he stayed aggressive. And, uh, you know, we really just didn't have an answer for, uh, for guarding him tonight. Nate, what did you see from John getting back into the starting lineup? I mean, I know obviously, you know, still a tough loss, um, but did you see him moving better or any better activity from him? Yeah, John hasn't complained about, you know, his foot or his finger. Um, you know, he came out of uh, the first game okay. Uh, you know, tonight uh, really uh, didn't even think about that, you know, uh, his injuries or anything like that. I didn't have uh, our trainers were okay with the minutes. Uh, that he played and, um, you know, so, you know, really uh, that issue was really no concern tonight. Coach, it seemed like DeLon's minutes were mirrored with Tyler a little bit. I guess just how hard is it to maybe handle and get him away from his spots in that way? Uh, DeLon? DeLon getting Tyler away from his spots because it seemed like his minutes were mirrored with Tyler and saw a lot of time on the ball on him. I guess how hard is it? Uh, for him to dictate and get him away from his spots. Who, Tyler. 
Right. Correct. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's tough. I mean, I mean, again, you have, you know, Butler tonight uh, went off, and uh, you know, Tyler is very capable of doing the same thing. You know, he had a couple plays where he was able to uh, get that hit that floater on the baseline. Uh, Delon played gave us good minutes tonight, and uh, we I just kept him out on the floor. We had a few guys that was in foul trouble, but he he played really well for us, uh, you know, defensively, uh, just making, you know, all of those guys that he was assigned to uh, work. And, uh, you know, we left him out on the floor. Um, you know, so, you know, we uh, that matchup, you got to have a guy like DeLon, Kevin, uh, someone who can run and chase uh, and guard, uh, you know, isolation basketball on a guy like Tyler. Hey, Trey, I know this is probably a tough one to swallow with, you know, the intensity you guys came out with. Uh, how much, you? what were they doing to, to force so many turnovers there throughout the game? Uh, I mean, they're doing pretty much the same, a lot of the th same things, being aggressive and uh, being in their gaps and really just um, forcing us to make threes. Uh, they're pretty much all five in the paint or right outside of it. So really not letting us get into the basket, into the paint. So a lot of it is getting getting too far in the paint and trying to throw it out and hands are there and um, just got to make it uh, just, we all got to get to our spots a little bit better and and then um, just be ready to knock it down. In that fourth quarter, you guys almost cut it down to two. Where did you see them pull away then after that? Uh, I mean, a couple a couple make couple of make shots. I uh, can 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 get the lead back up. A um, couple of miscues from us uh, hurt us down the stretch, um, but we were able to get back into the game. So that was a good sign. But we got to be able to finish a little bit better uh, than what we did. Trey, on a night where you guys are playing a lot more aggressively, you're getting inside out more like you wanted to over game one. How frustrating is it to feel like you let one slide because of things like turnovers? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, it's tough. Obviously, we feel like we let one slide. You can't let it, let it uh, linger too far. I mean, we got another game in a couple of days. So, um, I mean, obviously, we feel like we let one slip away, but – I mean, if the refs going to let them be as physical as they are and not call fouls, I mean, it's going to be hard to really do anything anyway. So uh, it's got to be got to be a little bit um, um, better with knowing where we got to be and just be ready to take care of home. Defensively, Jimmy Butler, when he plays like he does, I mean, that's a total team effort to try to slow him down. But what did you see from him tonight that that you guys couldn't quite stop there late? Uh, I mean, he had some tough shots. He had a, he had a one he had a, a three kind of fading to our bench. I mean, that's a tough shot. I mean, that's stuff. A lot of shots you uh, there's, there's shots that you can't you can't guard. I mean, uh, on both teams. So um, he had a couple of shots tonight that I mean, we gotta be able to live with. And Trey, heading back home though, you guys, especially late in the season, one of the very best home records. What is it about your team that makes you guys so difficult to beat at home? Yeah, I mean, Atlanta's been bringing the energy these past uh, this past month and two going into the playoffs and to, to the postseason, and we haven't played there in a long time, so uh, at least it feels like it. And uh, we're ready to get back home and get get back to work. And um, game three is going to be loud. It's going to be fun, and uh, we just got to go home and take care of home. That's all we got to do. Hey, Trey, I know this one slipped away from y'all in, in the fourth, um, but with the way Bogey was shooting and what you guys were getting from him, um, just how good was it to see his fight and the way he was kind of starting to. Uh, take over in that second half. Yeah, it was great to see. Uh, great for him to get into a rhythm, especially going back home uh, to finish out the game the way he did. He was playing like that the whole game. So uh, the way he was into a rhythm tonight, it was great to see. And we just got to all kind of follow up on him and uh, catch up on his speed and, and get into a rhythm, especially at home. On Zoom, we'll go to Peter Oritz. Hi, Trey, Peter, Tees on Fire Media. Coming home to Atlanta, what adjustments do you guys still need to do for the next game? Uh, I mean, obviously, you got to watch the film and then see uh, see where we can get better. Um, I got to do a better job, obviously, of taking care of the ball and being stronger with the ball. Uh, and I will um, when we get home. And um, just got to get back and, and watch the tape and 
for our team, just be ready for game three. It's going to be loud in State Farm, and uh, you got to be, be ready to bring it. Hey, Bogey, I know this is probably a tough loss to swallow. Did you like the intensity that you guys came out with in this game, though, more than more than game one? Yeah, obviously way better game than first game, but uh, still lost. But we're down 0-2 and on to the next one. You were able to go off there in that fourth quarter. What allowed you to get so open and, and create some of those open shots that you had? I felt maybe I wasn't aggressive enough at the beginning. I, I got in a foul trouble quick um, and I, I felt I had to do something. So um, I, I just play freely, honestly. And um, um, but it doesn't matter now, you know, still zero two. Um, first game was a terrible game. Now great game. Doesn't matter. Zero two. So new start. What do you take away from this one? Like, what's the biggest adjustment you think you need to bring back into home game three? Because you guys do have such a good home record this year. Um, they're a really experienced team, you know, and uh, they, they really show how, how the way uh, every team should play at home. They use the energy from the crowd. It's really tough to uh, play against them here, honestly. But uh, we got to do the same at home. We know how our Atlanta Hawks fans are treating us during the season. And I know for the playoffs, it's going to be even better. So I'm excited to play in front of our fans. Hey, Bogey. Nate mentioned that he felt like this one, unfortunately, kind of came down to turnovers. Um, what did you see in that regard with turnovers? I know Miami obviously you yeah. know, gets into passing lanes and is very physical. Um, or was it decisions on y'all's end as well? Experience. Honestly, you know, some... Uh, a um, couple of times, you know, we should dive to the ball. Maybe we, we took the step back or, you know, uh, we didn't set a screen or whatever. But um, that, that's a that little experience that makes a difference in game. You know, um, I felt like they, they were struggling to hit a shot at the end. And then they found uh, the rhythm and momentum back through this experience plays, you know, easy layups and, uh, and some good, good uh, possessions defensively. So um yeah all credit to them in first two games let's go out to one on zoom we'll go to alexander with one question on zoom uh bogdan advice devet uh tvojih pojena odlična igra evo i kažeš da je ovo takmica dovoljnije se nego uh do you hear me guys they hear you okay thank uh Kaže da je tvoj pojena odlična utakmica, što se tiče tvoje igre, kaže da je bila bolja nego prvo zadovoljniji si, ali evo sada da li očekuješ bolje da će kad će biti na domaćem terenu gde ovdje imate i, i bolje neki uspeh i sreće, da kažem, a drugo, ako nam se ovdje pitanje da kažem, prošli put si zabrinu navijaču u Srbiji kad si rekao da nisi sigurno da ćeš biti na, na evropskom prvenstvu u septembru, da li je to, a, da ima nešto novo vezi sa tim? A... Uh... Ne znam odakle krenem, ovaj, sorry guys, but um, my people don't sleep over there. Um, ovaj, uh, pa dobro, utakmica, ali kao što rekao, uh, pada u zaborav i to je to, idemo dalje. Um, a ovo što se tiče reputacije, to je bila mala šala, naravno, ovaj, ne fali nikad malo šale. Thank Kako you. je bilo na ovoj, da li je, ok, uh, znači da li nešto da. Da se nadili ili? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, DeAndre, um, Nate mentioned that he felt this game kind of ended up coming down to turnovers. Um, do you feel similar, <laughs> similarly and how important is kind of, or what did you kind of see the, the reason behind a lot of those turnovers tonight, obviously with Miami having a, a tough defense? I mean, yeah, the def- I mean, I think the game definitely came down to turnovers. Uh, I mean, I feel like we, you know, did a solid job of, you know, trying to handle that pressure. Uh, I feel like times we're rushing a little bit or maybe a little too aggressive at times, but I mean, that's going to happen, but 
yeah, we're not going to win with that many turnovers. How difficult is it for you guys to contain a guy like Jimmy Butler when he's kind of in the zone like he was tonight? I mean, he was making shots. I mean, if you're making shots, it doesn't really matter what, what the defense is doing. Um, once you're in the zone like that, it's tough. What's your mindset on, you know, where you guys are in the series right now and getting to take it back home to Atlanta? I mean, we're fine. Uh, they did what they were supposed to do, and we're going to do what we're supposed to do at home. Dre, headed back to State Farm Arena. Just how important is it for the fans to come out and bring the energy on Friday? Uh, it's big. Uh, we're going to need everyone who can come out. Uh, just give us that extra boost, that extra energy. Uh, it's going to be much needed. All right, let's go to Zoom. On Zoom, we'll go to Maria. Hi, Deandre. Hope you're well. Despite the loss, the team looked better tonight. So what was different compared to the previous game? And also, what do you think will help you and your teammates get that first win back in Atlanta? I think today we just came out with a lot of energy. Um, we were competing. Um, just things didn't go our way at the end. And in Atlanta, I feel like we, we could do the same thing, just cut down the turnovers and we'll be in better shape. Last night.